Welcome in on this Thursday. You're watching First Shift. I'm Kristen Strakalaitis. Coming up, Stellantis LG $4 billion EV plant. But first, your morning headlines. We will begin with Tesla. The automaker says net income surged to $3.3 billion in the first quarter. That's way up from the $438 million profit it earned a year earlier. Revenue jumped 81% to $18.8 billion. As many automakers have struggled with supply chain issues and slowed production, Tesla has posted record earnings and deliveries for several quarters. During an earnings call, CEO Elon Musk said the company's rapid growth is expected to continue. We remain confident of a 50% growth in vehicle production uh, in 2022 versus 21. Um, I think we, we actually have a reasonable shot at a 60% uh, increase uh, over uh, last year. The optimism comes after Tesla opened factories in Texas and Germany in recent weeks. The automaker says both plants will ramp up output in the coming months. Meanwhile, Musk once again discussed plans for a robo-taxi vehicle, saying the company hopes to reach volume production by 2024. Here's Musk again. We're also working on a new vehicle that I alluded to at the Giga Texas opening, uh, which is a, a dedicated robo taxi that's uh, highly optimized for uh, autonomy, uh, meaning it would not have steering wheel or pedals. Um, and th there are a number of other innovations around it that I think are quite exciting, um, but it's fundamentally uh, optimized for it's trying to achieve the, the lowest uh, fully considered uh, cost per mile or cost per kilometer, uh, you know, accounting everything. Um, and, and so it's, I think, going to be a very powerful product. For much more on Tesla's first quarter, visit autonews.com. Staying with earnings, used vehicle retailer Carvana said it sold fewer vehicles than it had planned for in the first quarter. That led to higher costs and lower profit per vehicle. The company reported a net loss of $506 million in the first three months of the year. It lost $82 million a year earlier. Carvana says disruptions to its reconditioning and logistics network hindered further sales volume growth. The company says high used vehicle prices, increasing interest rates, and issues stemming from COVID-19 also hurt sales. And that is the Lincoln Star, a fully electric concept vehicle. It is built on Ford's new EV platform and is roughly the size of an aviator crossover. However, the Star was designed with two rows instead of three to give occupants more space. As part of the reveal held in Los Angeles, officials said Lincoln will launch three EVs globally by 2025 and add a fourth in 2026. That is an acceleration of electrification plans announced last June. For this week's driving innovation, Stellantis and LG's new $4 billion EV battery plants in Windsor, Canada will help create a new supply chain. The battery plant is the largest single automotive investment in Canadian history and is expected to spark the country's electric vehicle revolution with a new supply chain and thousands of jobs. At 4.5 million square feet, it will be one of the largest battery plants in North America. The plant can produce 45 gigawatt hours of lithium ion cells and modules a year to feed the automaker's assembly operations in Canada and the U.S. This was said by the COO of Stellantis North America, Mark Stewart. The new battery plants will be one of two. The second will be in the U.S. that will supply parts for the automaker's electric vehicles in the two countries. Stewart says he expects more than half of Stellantis' vehicles to be electric by 2030. The plant is slated to begin operations in August 2024. Auto News Now comes your way this afternoon. Have a great day and we'll see you Friday morning.